And how you guys doing? And in reverence to my Hollywood career, people want to know, you know, which performances or which media and which names of which I've performed under as, you know, characters in film, characters in movies, and in history. So, you know, uh, and people want to know which people are stand-ins in reference to Hollywood careers, you know what I mean? Like, people want to know, you know, in reference to which actors and entertainers or, uh, are aware of you know my career and oh hello George Lucas and reverence to American Graffiti how's it you guys doing in reverence to that movie and uh, or, oh and uh, Rob Reiner and other individuals of course but you know I'm still sitting over here in Indianapolis and I've not received anything in the postal mail and the Royal Protocol is a documentation in the media that in reverence to every Hollywood A-list celebrity you're supposed to be aware of who I am, of course. This is reference to anybody. And you're supposed to know what I own in reference to the media. And Michael Douglas said hello. And, uh, and, and in reference to celebrities and entertainers, everybody knows they have to be friendly with me. That's one of the reasons why the Royal Protocol is there, too. I'm real friendly. Everybody knows that. So, you know, in reference to people trying to play tricks on me, uh, the police department in Beverly Hills and Burbank, Malibu, uh, Laguna Beach, uh, Laguna Beach, they messed my mouth, Laguna Beach, or, uh, you know, just anywhere, and other police stations nationwide, you know, I've been friendly, I've always been friendly, these people trying to frame me, these people trying to damage my life, these people trying to steal from me, they use impersonators to try to frame me, in reference to and in reference to Hollywood career history, these people have tried to play their game of abusing me and trying to murder me like they were trying to play some symbolism. I don't play that shit. You know, a lot of times, you know, I've had to dress up as different uh, entertainers over the years growing up, so, you know, people wouldn't think that I was typecast or, you know, in reference to performing as one uh, artist and then, you know, dirty government or certain social uh, people being too aggressive towards me, you know, that's why I've had to play different characters. I've never been a bad character, you know, movies and television is fictional, you know, performing arts is a career. And there's lawsuits, there's got to be lawsuits in reference to people trying to block me from my entertainment career too where some people like you know I, I'm the owner of my mother and father's companies and production companies and and many things of course but then these people trying to make me look like a nobody at my own mother and father's companies you know that's that's criminal they're still hitting me in the teeth right there they just did that that's total bullshit you know my baby teeth when I was growing up was straight my adult teeth was straight you don't have a right damaging the shape of things, you fucking sicko. And you know, the satellite man has communicated, claiming he wanted to be who I am. Go, go stand on a stage, man. Let's see your performing arts on work uh, on a stage. Damaging people's teeth is not a part of the performing arts, man. And you're violating entertainment education. You're violating film school. They just made me burp. You're violating... Uh, dance school, tap dance, ballet, singing, instruments, music classes. You're violating all kinds. You're violating the modeling industry. You have no legal right damaging my face or teeth. And my career is more valuable than your career, government man. Your activities of terrorizing my life is criminal. But anyways, back to the point. Some people want to know which actors and entertainers I have performed as. And then the studios had to use a stand-in in reference to me being kidnapped or me being held hostage or me uh, being in one movie and then being in another movie and in another movie. And, you know, I was in a lot of movies growing up and TV shows. So, you know, a lot of people know that in reference to my mother and father the particulars of me playing one type of character and then having to wear a costume 
and you know a makeup artist that you know did makeup or skin color or whichever you know that was in reference to you know my mother and father owning production companies and the studios which my father owned and you know production companies and things like that so in reference to people the fact that I've played numerous characters of different you know colors or different looks or you know you know, I've always played a character with a larger nose than my real nose. And sometimes I've played characters that, that didn't have teeth as pretty as mine. And that's with, you know, the makeup artists. There's people that make those particular designs of things. The satellite man damaging my real teeth is attempted murder. Look at all the movies and TV shows I've been in growing up. When I've had different looking teeth. My teeth are real teeth. But in film and movies, sometimes I wear a costume. So in reference to you damaging my real teeth, that is unacceptable in any way, no matter who the hell you are. And you must get prosecuted. But, you know, in reference to, uh, you know, entertainment or movies or career acknowledgements, uh, people want to know, you know, which characters I performed as. They know I played a lot of characters in movies and TV shows too, and singing and performing, performing as a black artist or a different, or maybe a Latin artist or uh, particular types of genres of music or rap artists or rock and roller, of course, rock on. I love rock and roller, everybody knows that. And country music, rock on, and R&B, rock on, and classical music and operatic music, rock on and you know music and history and directing and producing you know all that stuff's got to be put out there in reference to which people have been stand-ins for me when I've been held hostage which people have been stand-ins when I've went from one character to another character in reference to productions and you know history of productions and hello stuntmen association haven't even received a letter from anybody and uh, I guess I gotta continue pursuing my truck driving career because, you know, these people are blocking me from my entertainment career. You know, it's a very serious thing, you know. I'm supposed to be at the corporate offices, too, of the studios. My mother and father own the studios, and I'm the owner of the office locations at the studios. You understand that? But yet, people tried to, tried to block me when... I've been the owner of the studio since I was a little boy because my parents gave me everything. But my parents worked as executives underneath me at the companies of which my parents gave to me. And there's lawsuits in reference to the government murdering my parents as they were working as executives underneath me. Where's that lawsuit money? Where's the insurance money from the studios? Where's the money? Where's my revenues? Where you know These impersonators are not allowed to steal my revenues when they're a stand-in or where I have been, you know, held hostage, or people have tried to injure me, or people tried to rape me, or people tried to bully me, or whatever, you know. So a lot of people want to know which characters I performed as, and which characters did we have to use stand-ins for after, you know, during these types of times when I've been held hostage. You might be surprised in reference to films, and somebody communicated about the movie Seven, and Hello Morgan Freeman, and Gwyneth Paltrow and other people that are in the film and uh, the drill sergeant from uh, Full Metal Jacket was in the movie too. And uh, So in reference to you know people wondering what films and what people they use as stand-ins like I'll perform as a character, I'll dress up as a character whether it's a different hairstyle, different you know different makeup or different color uh, skin or or different types of characters, you know. But, you know, in reference to the information, you know, a lot of people in the productions, they know when I perform as an artist in film, then, then some people don't even know it's me. But then later on, it's supposed to be kind of revealed, like usually after the Oscars or, you know, like if I performed in a film that particular time, you know, where people judge it on a neutral basis, such as me dressing up as a different character, a different uh, 
different types of character in film, whether it's a different, you know, friendly race or I won't play no German or Middle Easterners. I'm not gonna, I don't have no plans of playing any of those characters. And uh, you know, in reference to romance movies or comedies or action films or whichever, you know, romance comedies or you know, particular history of things. So you know, in reference to uh, what a lot of people say, you know, in reference to me performing in a film, if it's if it's something that might be nominated for an Oscar, or usually every year it's supposed to come out that it was a role that I played, you know, as a character, and you know, if it if it doesn't even get close to being nominated for an Oscar or anything like that, then usually after usually after a year they're supposed to reveal that it was me in that particular film or TV show or something or directing you know because you know a lot of directors use uh, subcategory names because of uh, people get some people get freaky but yet in reference to the media certain films like if it's like a horror film or like you got Stephen King and Wes Craven and you know, uh, Michael England, they direct, you know, they put their name out there too, you know, in reference to films or anything like that. So, you know, it's sometimes you, you, you hear like the uh, the particular point of uh, ghost writers or ghost uh, directors where they use a different name because if it's like some controversial type of subject or a scary movie, some people don't know what to think and then... The, then you got bad people that really try to hurt people, like stalkers and stuff, when it's just a, you know, a fictional film, you know, or whatever. So, you know, that's why there's laws in reference to uh, government or police or psychos or rapists to ever act upon the storyline or a plot of a film. So, you know, there's safety and security guidelines and audience guidelines too like for instance you might see a film or a movie and say well wait that's a controversial movie or something or it's a scary movie or an action movie where it's a fictional movie and people don't have a right attacking the director or attacking the performers in the film because they didn't like the film because somebody is some weirdo that can't uh, understand that it's a fictional film or just a you know particular type of film or whatever documentary or or whatever something is you know so you know there's guidelines in reference to audiences that's why it says oh, all the characters in this film are fictional or you know certain things that it says in reference to movies when they're being filmed or when they're being after they've been filmed and you know so it's kind of like you know there's some directors that direct romance movies and a lot of people like that and then there's some people that direct horror movies, and then some people think, oh, like if you like like Stephen King or Wes Craven or Michael England or any movies I directed or anything, or you know anything in the history of things, where somebody'd say, well, we're used to this person directing, you know, this kind of movie, and that's like their mainstream productions or their mainstream like a romance director or a comedy director or action film director where they have like a you know a following of, of people that follow their types of movies where then somebody does another movie and they're like oh I don't know about that movie that's a different type of movie and you know somehow say well they're so used to this following of this director being a, a drama director or a action film director and then they then they tried their their hand at romance and some people liked it some people didn't and then somebody will say well that that might mess up the following of that director directing romance movies if he did some horror uh, violent movie fictional movie you know that kind of thing so that's why sometimes in reference to different directors they they stay in certain categories or they they have ghost titles in reference to uh, or anonymous titles or fake names that they use for whatever type of film that they might have a direct might have directed from the various types of films like say if their history is action films and then they tried their chance at romance in reference to directing a film sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you know usually the audience likes some things and then sometimes they don't
you know, it just depends on things, you know, that's why certain anonymous names or fake names are used in films or directing or performing arts because, you know, somebody has a following in one area and then their other area that they directed or performed in may not have done so well. So then they, they kind of, some directors focus on, you know, their bread and butter, you know what I mean, or, what, or you know, whatever is the kind of category that they have the most following in, in reference to, you know, storylines or plots. So many things are important. So in reference to films that I've been in, and, you know, where I have performed, and then they had to use a stand-in, you know, a lot of people want that information kind of revealed in reference to history of media or Hollywood, of me growing up and being in films and music and other things. Lots of things of importance. 